Hello and welcome back. It is the Colonel here, and in today's episode of Minecraft for Dummies, I have this to show you. Um, I don't know what this bit is. That's just very, you know, obvious. Did I say Minecraft for Dummies earlier? I meant to say Redstone for Dummies. Sorry. Um, so this is just, yeah, these things, and it shows how it goes back and forth. So if you actually put it on time, you can have waves of them, uh, which is what Seth Bling did at one point. <clears throat> but here, what I've got is a very nice sort of setup. How it works, it's only you can only use it in the 1.8 snapshot, uh, 1.8 update, which I don't actually have on at the moment because I'm an absolute idiot. Right, so I have now updated the uh, thing the yeah um <coughs> sorry see how this blessed cold so you want armor stands for this and you want to place it on the ice um and you want just a load of scary things so i'm going to be using that uh, I can also use get rid of all this. I can put him uh, put armor on him. Um, what am I doing with the cat? He's got his head on. So if I dye the armor black, then I'm just doing a basic version at the moment. Then when I'm, what the heck has happened? Then when I'm on here, I can flick the lever and away I go. And then he out he jumps. Now there is uh, you. What you can do with this also is make him scream basically, with the, boing, with the um, with the command block here. It I don't know why, but it doesn't work. So if you do the mob enderman enderman death, that's quite scary I think, um, and it certainly makes you jump, especially if it's down deep down in dark. In a dark corridor, I will certainly be using this if I ever build a theme park. Uh, this will going to be my my ghost scent and my um, what's it called? Sorry, I'm not feeling very well today. Um, <clears throat> so I'm doing a bit of the spluttering. So this is how it works. Um, I use netherrack because it's the scariest one. You can also place a door in front of the armor stand if you want. Uh, so if you just copy this template, <clears throat> you don't need this. You can actually activate it with just the button. And how it works is, you, know, you put the button there, a bit of redstone here connecting to the button, then a redstone repeater, redstone dust, I think that's a sticky piston, then a slime block, and, the, and then an armor stand. And also you can put a door there because it shoots the door off as well. So it's, yeah, it's all quite scary, lovely and scary. Um, and, uh, yes, that is the, that's the, uh, scary thing, basically. Um, the obsidian there is just, I don't know what's that for, I don't, I don't know. Um, and then also over here, look, all the different types of doors. Over here, we have a little device here. Now if I have a, oh, dear me, sticky, mm. Sticky piston up here. Um, it pushes these block out, these blocks out, and then retracts them all back in. Yet the sticky piston stays. So this is what happens. <laughs> it's a bit slow. You can speed it up, but I just so it just goes all the way to the end. And no idea what it can be used for. It's just a little contraption there is. Um, so yeah, that's all for today's episode of Redstone for Dummies. I just realised this is the 10th episode, so happy 10th birthday Redstones for... no, not birthday. Happy 10th episode birthday for Redstones for Dummies. And, uh, uh, what, what the... huh? Why do they all drop off from last episode? Ah oh, well, at least I managed to record it. Um, so yeah, that's all good and dandy, fine and dandy, as the doctor would say. <laughs>
And uh, just think this is where I started, just with these. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!